PM Modi's cabinet likely to expand in the first half of August. Recently elected Rajya Sabha MP Leshem Batana Joba are among strong contenders. Extended seven days total lockdown across the state continues in full swing on the third day. Roads more deserted look as people respond to the lockdown. And India reports 54,735 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. That toll reaches 37,364. A very good afternoon to you all. I'm Kanal Sambandhu. I'm presenting you the Sunday afternoon bulletin. Now let's begin our bulletin with the top stories of today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's cabinet is likely to expand in the first half of August. Three names from the Northeast are doing round four the ministerial birth. According to a media report, Assam Health Minister Hemantavishwa Sharma, former Union Minister Angatha Shangma, and Manipur's titular king Laisim Basana Jauba are strong contenders for for ministerial births and the Modi cabinet. The expansion is most likely to take place soon after the Bhumi Puja for the construction of Ram Temple at Ayodhya. The Bhumi Puja will be held on the 5th of August. The Modi government currently has 57 ministers. Several of the ministers ha have a number of portfolios. For one of the ministerial birth, Manipur's titular king, Leshem Basana Jauba, who owned the lone seat of Rajya Sabha in Manipur on the 22nd of June, is a strong contender, a, G a BJP leader said. Sana Jauba recently had a meeting with BJP top leaders Amit Shah in the national capital. Meanwhile, Ram Madhav, the BJP general secretary in charge of the North East, may be removed from his organizational responsibilities in the region said sources. Extended total lockdown and curfew for another week which begins on 31st of July in a bit to contain the spread of coronavirus has affected normal life in the state. Roads in the infall city bore a deserted look as people responded to the lockdown. Vehicular Traffic on the road was nailed and only few vehicles were seen plying on the street for emergencies and essential services. Shops in Infal City remained closed except for some medical stores and pharmacies. Police patrol units are being stationed at strategic locations in the city to keep a strict vigil to prevent any untoward incidents. Police as well as local clubs members have advised people to stay indoors. Meanwhile, streets in some localities are still block as locals have to pile up logs preventing movement of people and vehicles and their efforts to work off COVID-19. The statewide lockdown will end on August 6th. According to official report, confirmed cases in the state have reached 2,756 out of which 1,000 51 are active cases. Total death toll from COVID-19 in Manipur is 6, while recovery rate in the state is 61.66%. Speaker of the Manipur Legislative Assembly, Yumnam Kim Chant, appealed people to take bay-fitted roles in fighting against COVID-19 instead of merely relying on the government. He was speaking to media at closing event of Community Quarantine Centre of Singjimai Assembly constituency opened at Manipur College today. The first ever quarantine centre of Manipur was opened on 3rd of May and altogether 316 inmates, including 21 inmates from the eight other constituencies stayed in the center. Speaking to media, Yumnam Kim Chand expressed happiness that every inmate who stayed at the center were tested negative for COVID-19. The speaker also handed over discharge certificates to the inmates of the center on the occasion. One female inmate from the Wang Kim Assembly constituency extended monetary effort to the speaker as a form of gratitude for the 14-day hospitable stay at the center. Government, community transport, or high risk.
Old Manipur Youth Protection Committee said the inconveniences facing our state during the COVID-19 pandemic is due to dependency of the food supply and economy on others. Mentioning that our state was once a self-reliant one, the committee in a press release highlighted the plights facing the people during the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Kontha Ahalup Mayai Lekai and the Hainang Police Station has been declared as a COVID-19 containment zone. In Falwes, District Superintendent of Police Jogesh Chandra Haubijam has appointed officer in charge of Hainang Police Station Inspector K.H. Patho Maite as the security in charge. He has also instructed N. Suraj Singh, MPS, to supervise the security arrangements and to make sure people in the containment zone follow the standard operating protocols issued by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Well, now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you updates on coronavirus cases. We will be back with details after the break. Until then, keep watching Impact News. Nordis India ki ahan bo ina ICS Infra Solutions Private Limited na Manipur International Airport ki VIP loans Manipur State Rural Livelihood Mission Ifal is kairau bitra tanix tata motors ta amuk kapto pada tha ohum ngakto pangamba COVID court ki pambai pisa kre adu dasuna tana tha mari thinsilu raba maming lai raba Jaipur Club amadi UP ki State Road Transport Corporation ki bus station ani dasu kapto tuna amuk hana hangdo han ki bat lai kre aku pamarol ki damak ICS Infra Solutions MM Manson Naurem Tong contact number 9862104214 Panthobi Group of Companies presents Panthobi Housing Finance Company Limited, regulated by National Housing Bank, wholly owned by Reserve Bank of India, provide subsidized home loan under PMAYCLS Housing for All by 2022 Mission. Panthobi Microfin deals with microfinance activities only. Panthobi Needy Limited provides loan against fixed deposit, loan against property, etc. Panthobi Constructions Private Limited facilities, booking started for real estate, residential projects of flats, villas, or row houses, etc. For more details, kindly contact Panthobi Housing Finance Company. Limited and its subsidiary group of companies, or it booked around by Lake Lai in Farm. Ichabu Mahitam Hanba have a sima mama passing the Machada Piba number Kwaidiki Chabu Kudoni. Slopland Public School, biggest and the finest residential school, Manipurgi Oina Lemjuningai Oiraba, Mahitam Ham Ama Oiriba, Kwaidiki Junior of Ham the Sembat Laba, CBS the affiliate Toba, Higher Secondary School Ori. Ichasing admission to Widana Mama Pass in the Machada Piba number. Kwaidi ki chao bukudol oi biyu, icha ki phazabalam chat sazat ki ahong badu u biyu. Slopland Public School Kongjom. Andro AC ki social worker oi bag loi na na, AC AC ki Congress luching ba oi bata nat na, United NGOs Forum Manipur ki chairman oi riba, kai sham ning thiam jau na, Andro AC ki miyam ki thabak thorong kaya da mati yang pang biba, spruti skim ki makha da, haan ba instrument oi na lupa li sing yang kai pibi ba, loi na na, COVID-19 na maram oi raga lockdown lai ni ngay manung da, yom da lai na lai na siandaan lambi pibi ba ki da mak, kai sham ning thiam jau bu, tai bang mapu na yai pa ba mai paak pa ohen bishno hai na hai jari. Hai jari ba, inga lai ma to kutha bi nupi lo, Welcome back after the break. You're watching Sunday Afternoon Bulletin. India has reported 54,735 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. That told have reached 37,364. As per the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, country's total confirmed cases have crossed 17.5 lakh, out of which above 5 lakh are active cases. Total recoveries from COVID-19 surpassed 11 lakh mark. A record 15 51,255 recoveries from COVID-19 have been registered today in the country. There, this is the highest number of recoveries in a single day since the COVID-19 outbreak in the country. 
country's recovery rate stands at 65.43 percent. Meanwhile, the Indian Council of Medical Research said that a total of 4,63,172 tests were conducted by various laboratories within 24 hours. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 1 crore 80 lakh people and more than 6 lakh 88 thousand people have died. Recoveries are above 1 crore 13 lakh. USA is on top with more than 22 lakh active cases and Brazil is at second place while India is at third place in the world. Total to active cases of COVID-19 in the Northeast states, including Manipur, have to cross a 15,000 mark in the last 24 hours. Assam's total confirmed COVID-19 cases have reached 40,200 mark, out of which 9,811 are active cases. Arunachal Pradesh confirmed COVID-19 cases are over 1,600, out of which 701 are active cases. Nagaland's confirmed COVID-19 cases are... Nearly 1,827, out of which 1,183 are active cases. There are 215 active cases of COVID-19 in Mizoram, 1,744 in Tripura, 380 in Sikkim and 631 in Meghalaya. Now the sports news. Host England have defeated Ireland by four wickets in the second day of the one-day international cricket match. The match was played behind closed door at Rose Ball Cricket Ground. In the match, Ireland won the toes and filed first. Batting first, Ireland met 212 runs for 50 overs with nine wickets downed. In the first inning, Ireland's Curtis Camphor and Harry Tector scored 68 and 28 runs respectively. While England's bowlers Rashid Ali took three wickets, while Saqib Mohammed, Mahmud, and David Willey took two wickets each. Responding to which batting second, England met 216 runs in 32 overs and three balls with six wickets down. England's Joshant Barristo smashed 82 runs. Oft just 41 balls, while David Wille and Sam Billing score 47 runs and 46 runs respectively. England's backs, batsman Johnny Barristow was a judge man of the match. Third match will be played on August 4. Sudeva Football Club Delhi, Rinth, Rinthi. Soccer Club Shillong and Sri Nidhi Football Club Vishaka Patnam are striving ferociously to score a sport in the upcoming I League 2020 2021 held under the aegis of Old India Football Federations. AIFF. The three football clubs have submitted their bids to be a part of the I League after AIFF invited interested parties to fill up the spot left vacant by Mohan Bagand after it merged after its merger with the Indian Super League ISL champions Athletic. Atletico de Kolkata ATK. AIF has sought further clarification from the three prospective clubs who have bid to join the I League from the 2020 2021 session, giving them time till August 5 to do so. The Federation will take a final decision after evaluating the documents. Well, that is all we have in this bulletin, but before we wind up, let's take a glimpse at the headlines once again. Prime Minister Modi's cabinet likely to expand in the first half of August. Recently elected Rajya Sabha MP Laisem Basana Jabba are among strong contenders. Extended seven days total lockdown across the state continues in full swing on the third day. Roads bought deserted look as people respond to the lockdown. And India reports 54,735 new COVID-19 cases in last 24 hours. That told the richest 37,364.
Well, thank you so much for being with us. In the meantime, for more news and update, please do not hesitate to follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Until then, have a great Sunday afternoon and stay safe.